Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favourite, favourite comfort foods and it's probably my favourite because it's so quick and easy to make um, but also because it's obviously delicious which is why I want to share it with you. It is um, by no means slimming friendly so if you have enjoyed my slimming world friendly post in the past you will not like this. Well you probably will but it won't fit with that diet. Um, it's very much kind of like cheesy, fattening comfort food, so just kind of a pre-warning. Um, it's very, very cold outside, I know it's supposed to be summer, but I'm not really feeling it, and so this recipe has been kind of away for a couple of months because I've been trying to embrace spring, but it is back, and I thought I would show you um, how I make it. So first of all, I measure my pasta in the dish that I'm going to cook it in. Bearing in mind that obviously once you've cooked the pasta, it's going to get bigger than this. Probably about that. Um, I then put that into my pan of boiling water, Oop. minus a couple of bits. And I cook that for around 12 minutes, normally a little bit less than a full cooking time because obviously then it's going to go into the oven for 20 minutes. Okay, while the pasta is cooking, I'm going to prep the chicken. This is just kind of like a, this could be anything, but this is what I tend to have this pasta with. Uh, and again, just super, super easy and lazy. Um, I've already put some oil or fry light, whatever you want to put in the bottom of it to make it so that it doesn't stick. And now I'm just going to put a little bit of salt over top, a little bit of pepper, or probably a lot of pepper some garlic and I am pretty liberal with this stuff so obviously you don't have to put as much of this on and what I've recently been adding is paprika because when I started making the KFC chicken that I did the recipe video on um, I discovered that the majority of the taste there was paprika so I started putting it on everything I love it um, so I put a little bit of paprika on as well and that will also go in at the same time as the pasta for 20 minutes and it just adds a little bit of flavour to what otherwise would be really really plain chicken you can put whatever you want on it you can rub it in and leave it for a long time marinade whatever but in the interest of being super super quick and easy that is all i do pasta is out and i've put it in the dish that it's going to go in the oven in um, again i'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper in with this i love pepper I can't get enough of pepper right now. Um, and then go in the things that you will totally judge me about because it's just like so bad for you. Um, in fairness, you know, I try to use light cheese and cream and stuff, but it, it doesn't really make a huge difference, does it? Um, this is probably like half a block of cheese. And bear in mind that I'm being stingy because I don't want you guys to think that I do this all the time. I totally would use a full block of cheese if you weren't watching. Um, and an entire pretty much we'll see how much i need to mix it in but probably an entire elmley whatever cream you want but i like to have elmley just because um it lasts in the fridge for longer so that's all of the cream and cheese and seasoning and stuff in there i try and mix it up as best i can but it is a little bit cumbersome and ultimately when it bakes in the oven it'll all kind of just like melt together anyway just to know, you can actually add in pre-cooked chicken, um, vegetables, all kind of things in here and make it kind of a pasta cheesy bake. Really, really delicious and um, just another way of adding flavour to a quick and easy meal. Um, I just like to try and get the cheese vaguely evenly distributed. Um, and this is like, it is the most delicious thing in the entire world. It will probably kill me and clog my arteries and do terrible things. Um, but it is just like the most delicious comfort food and the easiest thing to make. And it just, when you get it out of the oven, it looks like it's a proper meal and it's taken you about, I don't know, probably five, 10 minutes maximum in actual prep. So this is my before. They're both gonna go into the oven for 20, 25 minutes and I will see you on the other side. And here is the finished result. Nice and crisp and golden and delicious looking. This is seriously one of my favorite things in the entire world. I could probably eat the entire thing. I'll try not to, but uh, when I'm in the mood, <laughs> you know when you just kind of want that kind of food? Um, that is just like everything. This is just an accompaniment. And actually more paprika and stuff. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of chili on it. It's a little bit cajun -y. Um, it's actually a really nice accompaniment. I used to just put garlic on it, but since I've added the paprika and occasionally the chilli, it's a very nice contrast with the cheese, kind of the milder flavour and the kind of um, spice and uh, almost tanginess of this. Uh, but yeah, that is it. That is everything. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that it was useful for you lazy girls like me that want to make kind of a, a nice comforting dinner but you really can't be bothered because really when you want comfort food it's not the time that you really want to cook 
um, and this is super easy, super delicious, and please don't judge me for how fattening and horrible it is for you, because it's so nice! Uh, we will see you next week with another video from Style and Toast. Please don't forget to subscribe, check out our other videos, and thanks for watching. Bye!